You're right guys, it's Capcom Tom here and welcome to another most expensive squads video. Today we are going to be building the most expensive Bundesliga team. You guys wanted it, so I am going to do it. And if you have any more suggestions for squads that you want to see in this series, put it down in the comments section. I will of course check it out. It can be leagues, nationalities, whatever you want. Also, if you want to see more of these videos, make sure you get this video to a thousand likes. Smash the like button now to ensure that I keep uploading it because I need to know you guys are enjoying it because otherwise I won't bother because that's what I do YouTube for to, you know, provide enjoyable content for you guys. Now, let's dive in and start building. We are going to be building in the 3-4-3 formation, but before we put any players in, if you want to buy some ultimate team coins, which you will need to do if you want to buy this squad because it's well over 5 million coins, then go and check out battleaid.com. Their link will be down in the description. A fast, cheap and reliable coin service. And if you use the discount code TCAP, Gun, you'll get 5% off all your purchases. So, we are going to start building. We're going to put the centre backs in first because they are the cheapest. We will work from the cheapest player all the way to the most expensive player. And first up, we are going to be using a silver player. Kind of crazy to be putting a silver player in. We're going to quickly switch to the Bundesliga so we find them faster. And the Bundesliga silver centre back that we are going to be using is Hong Jong. Kyo, or something like that. There you go. He goes into the team. We're actually playing him at this centre-back position. Um, he's got 80 pace, 71 defending, and 80 heading, hence why he's so expensive. And uh, he is the third most expensive centre-back in the Bundesliga. Now, the reason I have to use three centre-backs rather than using two and having two wing-backs is because if I took, you know, him out or took the one of the or one of the two wingers that I'm going to use on both sides of the pitch out, it would make the team a lot cheaper because the wingers are the most expensive players in the Bundesliga. So there you go, he goes in. Next most expensive, we have Diagne, I think is how you pronounce his name, a Senegal player from SC Freiburg, and uh, he has 75 pace as well as 81 defending and 82 heading, so he has decent all-round stats, pretty strong, pretty pretty brutish in the middle of the defence and that's what you need, someone that can head the ball away and make sure it doesn't end up in the back of the net and I was pretty happy with this defence because it actually turned out to be pretty strong and the uh, other centre back that we're using is Top Rack there you go, he goes in, in form Top Rack goes for about 14, 15k I think um, depending on when you're watching this um, he may have gone up or down whatever, but he has 78 pace he has 83 defending, he also has 81 heading so a very decent all round card and you may have noticed I've been quite sneaky because I've uploaded this before 3 clock at the team of the week so if a team of the week player has a really expensive Bundesliga player in it you guys can't get mad because I made this team before then so next up we're going to go for the goalkeeper and it is Manuel Neuer he comes in at around about the 48,000 coin mark very decent goalkeeper in fact in my opinion he is the best goalkeeper on this game by a long margin I would definitely recommend you try him out next up we are going to go with the centre mid position and the first one is going to be Boateng. He comes in, he's about 95,000 coins, which is kind of surprising considering he's only 82 rated, but um, he is a very good player, he's very strong, and he can score a lot of goals. Steve Fultz is a cam, so it's happy to move him back to centre mid, and uh, the rule I have is that you can move players a maximum of two positions, so a striker can become a cam, but a striker can't become a centre mid. Next up, we are going to be going with the boy in the middle of the pitch. In fact, we're going to go out wide. We are going to go out wide. And there is a reason for that, and that is because he's slightly cheaper. Didn't realise he was, but it is going to be Aubameyang. You see there the inform going in, 81 rating overall. He comes in at around about the 230k mark. Absolutely fantastic player, 95 pace. Would definitely say he plays better as a striker than he does as a right mid. Um, I did try him at right wing as well. I switched the uh, the players around just to try out which ones were better at the sort of like winging positions, which one are better at the right mid positions. Um, and he did a little bit better, but he wasn't, you know, he didn't blow me away, but he still was a lot of fun to play with. Now we can move back to the centre mid, and we are going to be putting Philip Lahm in, 89 rating overall, you can see there, he starts off as a CDM, this is his second in form, comes in around about the 237,000 coin mark, so he is quite expensive, and uh, yeah, he's actually uh, decent in the centre mid position, he does come forward a bit, um, which may leave you exposed at the back, but that's to be expected with uh, pretty much any of these teams, because they're so based around the attacks, because the attacks are always the most expensive bit, um, that you're always going to be left a little bit short at the back. Now we can move on to our next player and let me just check who it's going to be. Okay, the next player is actually going to be our striker. Now it's quite surprising to see the striker coming into the, the team so early on, but he is worth around about the 700,000 coin mark and it is second in form Lewandowski. There he goes into the team, 84 pace, 87 shooting, 87 dribbling, runner up in the ultimate attacker tournament. He had 85 heading as well. He has four star skills, four star weak foot. Not all of this because I've said it all about a million times and he is a fantastic 
fantastic player, I have to say. Really strong, good in the air, and just generally an all-round brilliant striker in the Bundesliga. Definitely would recommend you try picking up his normal card if you've never used it. Now we can move on to our left winger. Now the left winger comes in at around about the 800k mark. So we've got some expensive players in here and it is in form rice. Now the reason he's so expensive is obviously because he was in the first team of the week that was out. People want him because he's in form and because he's old, rare and you know very few of them on the market he has gone up a lot in price so there you go he goes in 816,000 coins definitely just try his normal card if you haven't used that just try out all the players normal cards before you try out their informs um, except if they've had a position change and you need them to be in that position because generally it's not worth the extra coins that you put in so now we can move out to the right wing and we have a first player over a million coins 1.2 million coins to be exact and it is inform Robin there he goes into the team 92 pay not eight, 93 dribbling as well as 87 shooting 82 passing a ridiculous left foot a shit right foot and just generally a very very good player I definitely recommend him and uh, yeah these players are just awesome you know I wouldn't maybe play the 3-4-3 formation maybe decide which one you prefer out like Aubameyang and uh, and uh, the likes of um, Robin just have one winger because you don't need both and it will probably make your team a lot stronger. So our final player of the day is going to be our most expensive. It, and it is the left mid. I think some of you can probably guess who it is. He's 91 rated overall. And it is Franck Ribéry. There he goes into the team. The inform. And uh, yeah. 1.585 million coins he's worth. Absolutely crazy. 5 star skills. 91 pace. 94 dribbling. 86 passing and 83 shooting. Crazy, crazy team. Comes in at over 5 million coins. And yeah. Just generally awesome. A lot of fun to play with as well. I'm going to show you some of the goals that I scored with it in a second. Uh, obviously, I'll put some music over the top. I will put the music down in the description, as I always promise, but never do. Um, yeah, but that's it for me talking. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Um, like the video. As I said, 1,000 likes will get it another or make or make me make another video. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. And, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. Other than that, I'm going to have to stop talking, and I will see you all next time. On again, it's on again. If we lose, we die because we born to win. Wouldn't say I've always felt this good, but I can't remember how long it's been. Since I have it, once you have it, go and grab it. Never let it go. Do it right because your life could end tonight, baby. You never know. It's hard to see what's missing when you're looking from this position because everything looks different when you love the life you're living. And with all this recognition, I don't know how I should feel. That's why I love it when we fail because at least we know it's real. The game and the fame are the same in the way that my brain wants nothing but it's so it's strange it contained to the same to explain when they ask me why I love it It's safe to say we paved the way we make today into something big So every night we live this life we're falling back in love again